Welcome to Ellen B. Show and Tell. <laughs> Let me preface this by saying that you're not going to see my face, and yet every time I do a video, I put on lip gloss and tie my hair back so that I look presentable, which is weird. <laughs> but uh, I wonder if anybody else does that. Okay, enough of that. Let me talk about this. Um, yeah, I organize, and yes, I use the Dollar Tree uh, containers, um, and every drawer in my house is organized, and I do carry a planner around with me, which is my little um, a Midori, and I keep all my appointments in here, and it works well. But, as I've said in other videos, I'm going through some health <laughs> issues. And I'm going to need mini surgery in January. I've got dental issues, foot issues, osteoporosis, osteoporosis issues, and I'm changing health insurance. So I felt overwhelmed completely. I tried to keep all the paperwork separate, all the appointments separate, and my my plan wasn't working well. I just constantly felt overwhelmed. So I decided to go to the Dollar Tree and pick up one of the, uh, the obviously a dollar notebook binder and um, took it home and I took all my paperwork and I punched holes and I put it in there. And looking at it just made me feel organized but depressed. <laughs> because it was such a cheap, ugly uh, binder. Um, side note, they did not have any nice binders, and I don't know why I didn't run to Staples or someplace nice to get a binder. I didn't. Um, so um, I went to my paper stash, and I remembered that I had this fabulous Seven Gypsies paper. I don't know the name of it. It's postal inspired. And I remembered that it had the cross, which had always reminded me of the Red Cross. So, Red Cross and health issues. I figured this would work for me. And yesterday I budgeted one hour. I said, I don't want to spend more than one hour on this. And yeah, I spent like an hour and 45 minutes from beginning to end, but I'm pleased with the results. So I wanted to share with you in case you needed to organize some aspect of your life, not a planner. This is just organizing paperwork. It's, uh, even though I'm still facing the same issues, I feel so much better. Okay, let's get started. Um, must say that the, um, Black Notebook had all kind binder had all kinds of wrinkles in it, but I managed once I've got the paper on it, it looks really uh, much better. Then I just added the strip. I added the strip on the side, as you can see. I just kind of traced it, felt where the the holes were, um, made holes in there, and um, I think it looks kind of cute. And then here is the back. I used up all my paper from this line, but I'm pleased with the way it looks. Okay, so let me show you what I did. Um, luckily, there were pockets on both sides, and I just took some of the paper and covered it. I just used my ATG gun and um, some a glue stick, and there's no distressing. As I said, I wanted to make this really quick and uh, it worked out. I added a pen. These are journal notes, which is what I'm using. And then as you can see over here, I made my tabs. Here's the other pocket. Okay, so let me tell you what I did do. As you can see, I went online to get a free calendar. And I'll put the link below, but I found this place called incomptech.com. And you can print out a uh, calendar. You can choose the date you want it to start on, a Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. And um, you could do it portrait or landscape. And I'm so pleased with this because you can see I'm able to do, uh, put in my appointments as of this moment for November. 
And then I've got my to-do list over here. This is one of the little tiny cards from the same line. And then I printed out December, which is empty so far, yay! And then I also printed out all of 2017. Um, again, absolutely free. So, pleased with that company. And then what I did is just made uh, these little tabs. Very, very simple. I did print them out on the computer um, just so that it would look a little bit nicer uh, and I could see what I was doing, but you don't even have to do that. Um, just cut the paper, eight and a half by 11, worked out fine. Use my journal cards. Don't know why I was saving them. Might as well use them. They're uh, part of my stash. And this is again another reminder, making this very simple. Here's my new primary. I've got business cards. And as you can see, here's a funny one. Okay, so I've got miscellaneous, AARP. I've got my teeth. <laughs> and what I'm doing is all the information that I need will be in here. So this is what I paid, um, what I... Uh, the dentist that I'm using uh, works out really well. And then I've got my surgeon, my endocrinologist, uh, physical therapy. Oh, and this is a funny one, boobs. <laughs> yes. And this is where I had my mammogram done. So since I'm changing insurance, I want to make sure that I go to the same place and got the information there. And then on the back pocket, I've just got my dental plan here. And again, I, I'll show you more of the cards. Uh, what I did was just take a piece from the, uh, uh, the paper that I had and just cut it out and stuck it on there. And it works out. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. So, um, you know, this could be adapted for anything, but I will say that I was so pleased with the way that this turned out that um, I will probably make another one. Um, don't know what for, but for a dollar. That's all this cost me, one dollar. I'm pleased with the way it turned out. And it makes me feel better. So um, run to the Dollar Tree. Hope everyone's doing well. And um, happy Thanksgiving to all. Take good care, stay healthy, <laughs> see your doctor, and have an apple a day. Bye-bye.